it's time once again for Tea Time with Matt's Common Sense Advice. Now, this edition of Common Sense Advice was going to be about how to run an Easter egg hunt. However, my legal team, as provided by Honest Jeff's Legitimate Solicitors and Lawyers Limited, has advised that with the ne recent news story about Cadbury's and the National Trust allegedly dropping the word Easter from their annual egg hunt, they didn't, by the way, uh, that I should probably avoid giving advice on anything to do with Easter eggs or indeed hunts. I wouldn't want to upset Nigel Farage, his mate Steve, and Steve's pitbull Mrs Twinkle, as they all hold very strong views about religious freedom for certain groups in the UK. Which I won't comment on. Except to say that the word Easter is actually derived from the word Eostra, uh, the German the Germanic goddess of the dawn, who represented spring and fertility, and who the people of ancient Britain worshipped, along with her animal companions, which were believed to be hares and rabbits. And what the hell does that have to do with chocolate eggs anyway? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, okay. So we have a connection to the rabbit. But, again, why eggs? But as I said, I won't comment on that. So instead of our scheduled common sense advice, I'd like to offer this as a cop-out. As you may remember from the sketch at the beginning of the show, I've broken my leg. As such, I am now an expert in how to cope with this relatively minor inconvenience. As I such, wouldn't call it minor. I'd say it's a middle between minor and major. Okay, middling inconvenience. Let's go with that. As such, I now present for your consideration Tea Time with Matt's Common Sense Advice on How to Manage with a Broken Leg. And to do that, we're going to need a Common Sense Advice sound bit. Okay, number one. Attitude. Relax when you get home and be prepared to take good care of yourself. Prepare to be pampered. Don't do anything. Put your life as you knew it on hold. You are entering a road to recovery from a severe shock to the body. It is probably far more than you yet realise. Relax, even if you feel great and want to be off doing things and being busy. Relax. Give your body time to do what it needs. Read those books you've been meaning to catch up on. Do some writing. Catch up with old friends online. Run a marathon. Uh, no, no, Wait. don't do that last one. Don't yeah, do that last idea. one. Number two, communication and safety. Always have a phone within easy reach and keep emergency numbers handy just in case. Never don't, know when you'll I'll, need to consult. Also have a charger. Have a charger. Because you don't want the phone to run. No, of course. Phone. Never know when you'll need to consult your GP, call a friend to help you stand up, or order a takeaway. For that last one, I recommend Honest Jeff's super fast takeaway delivery services. Honest Jeff guarantees you'll enjoy your meal, and if you are in any way unsatisfied with your order, Jeff will send the boys round to help change your mind. In fact, that's probably the reason you have a broken leg to start with. Don't piss off Honest, Honest Jeff. Honest Jeff has nothing to do with, with that, by the way. <laughs> no. Number three, painkillers. Your doctor will likely advise you to take painkillers regularly. I strongly recommend paracetamol, ibuprofen, and wine. Lots and lots of wine. Number four, clothing. Comfort should always win against fashion. Purchase several pairs of jogging bottoms, that's pants to you, Bren, and take the waistcoat yeah. off. I know, that's sacrilege, but don't worry. As long as you have a pocket on your jogging bottoms to keep a couple of chocolate hobnobs in for dunking-related emergencies, you'll be absolutely fine. Number five, personal hygiene. If your leg is in plata, that you need to keep it dry. So you'll probably have to forego showers and baths for a few weeks. This will lead to inevitable... personal hygiene issues. Consider investing in an air freshener, baby wipes, and particularly strong deodorant, so that your friends and family don't have to put up with more unpleasant smells than necessary. You disgusting excuse for a human. Number six, food. Be sure to eat plenty to keep the body fueled and promote healing. Tea, as we all know, is a miracle cure for everything, and no cup of tea is complete without a couple of dunking biscuits. Drink plenty of tea and dunk plenty of biscuits. In our busy modern world, it's difficult to find time to drink tea and dunk, so savour the time that you have to do so. Number seven, recovery. While you're healing, you'll almost certainly need to take time off work. 
If you're a very good actor, you can probably stretch this whole thing out by up to eight weeks before you have to return to work. Get a sick note from your doctor and try to get that leg healed quickly. Then once you feel up to it, book that holiday you wanted to take but couldn't get the annual leave for. They literally can't make you go back. It's a win-win. And finally, number eight, hate everyone. This step will come pretty naturally. Whenever you venture outside on crutches, people will do everything in their power to get in your way and make you fall over. Be sure to tut vigorously and have a number of passive aggressive quips prepared to use on people who make your life difficult. This is pretty much the only time in your life you'll be able to get away with this, so make the most of it. And take every yeah, opportunity- hey, who's gonna really beat up a guy with a broken leg? Exactly. Make the most of it- Well, maybe on Jeff's friends. Make the most of it and take every opportunity to tell people around you how selfish and inconsiderate they are. And that was Just Tito. remember that when you don't have a broken leg, they might remember what you said. Yeah, but they can't hold it against you. You had a broken leg. That was tea time with Matt's common sense advice on how to manage with a broken leg. As usual, I remind you that tea time with Matt's common sense advice uh, it should be taken with a small barrel of salt, and we are not responsible for any injury or personal emotional problems you may suffer as a result of following our common sense advice. So yes, basically don't follow our advice. We are we are terrible at giving advice on this show. <laughs> 